Have you ever had an argument on Twitter? Have you ever had an argument on Twitter where you back-to-back -back roasted a man to shit? To the point that after they're in the mentions talking to a person who tried to use them so they could reach a higher platform after already embarrassing them the night before on a live broadcast, try to talk shit about you in your mentions and have fans bring it to you? Have you ever had a person be so salty that they demonstrate that you won? Well, I have. There's a lot of context behind this, and I'd rather not waste your time with taking you through all of it at once, because it's about maybe like three years of planning in the making. But what I can do for you is I can take you back to Wednesday, January the 20th, and show you what was effectively probably the most entertaining week of my life so far in terms of being a shit poster. Sounds fun? Sounds nice. Let's begin. Let's set the stage. It's Wednesday the 20th, and after making a thread trying to suck Bosch's dick off even harder than usual, Vito gets mad at a whole bunch of people that have been talking to him. There's a whole bunch of context to what happens after this, but we'll get there when we get to those threads. I write my thread explaining that number one, Vito's an idiot, and he needs to stop talking because he keeps opening himself up to being ridiculed. Number two, nobody actually cares about what Vosh's opinions are because the people who are smart know that he's being disingenuous because that's not the reason he brings up child porn. And number three, even if people were going to talk about it, normal people don't talk about this. And also, any person who understands these things is not going to use it as though it's supposed to make them look good because this is a constant problem that Vito pulls out. This thread goes on for a bit. Vito tries to use this as an opportunity to remember the fact that I embarrassed him when he was lying about Epic Game Store, which comes up later. And he does what Vosh does and creates his own fucking thing of a cope to use, which is pulling out a reference of 2018 and 2019 dance magazine competition photos of general dancers in outfits. Because this was his cope during Cuties, which also funny when we get there. This goes on for a bit. To when I start roasting him directly to his face. And Vito's so fucking incompetent that not only does he lie, he pulls out a fucking link to a thread where I'm telling someone it is not a smart idea to lie about people and give them opportunities to try and win a form of fake and gay optics in front of their sycophantic followers, which somehow makes me the autist for pointing out and laughing at him for trying. Because the entire argument during this moment, in this, that all of this is constructed around, is three things for Vito. One, I'm talking about good things. That means you can't antagonize me. Two, you can't bring up things I've done before, because if you bring up things I've done before, that just means you're petty, and you're stupid, and lol, you're salty and mad, and you have no reason to disagree with me, because you have no optical point. And three, never mind the fact I did all of those things, I'm doing good things now, you should promote me for doing good things, it's just and devout and right, and I'd do this for anyone. See, this is where it gets really fucking retarded. Because if you actually listen to Vito talk for half a fucking second, it's very obvious to know why every single person was hammering him as hard as he was, but because he's stupid, and because I'm supposedly retarded, we're gonna have to lay this out and go really slow. If you create a different terminology and a different definition for what you claim cancel culture is, namely, not when people are quite literally trumping up invalid charges, and are creating a hostile environment where people make it normal to bring up bullshit that has nothing to do with anything, but instead you say, it's simply people lying, and you spend your time feloniously bullying people, building up bullshit information, and stretching the truth in your own definition to try and prove some kind of point, you and yourself are advocating for cancel culture, and you are yourself creating the very problem you say that you're trying to stop. I told you this, and several other 
hundred users told you this. You didn't want to listen because you thought that you were smarter than the average bear and that you could trick people into doing what you wanted. What's worst is that you can't even keep your life straight because there's been several hundred times where you've been caught in four fucking K lying through your teeth. You can't take a position as though what you're doing is just and devout and good when you yourself are complaining about how hard it is to try and trick people to get them to do what you want. You also don't know what the hell you're talking about half the goddamn time because you make the most head-ass takes and then you claim, actually, that was bait. Is it bait to make you post your L's online twice? <laughs> now, you'd hope that after having his L's posted real hard like this that he'd at least go into hiding for a long period of time to, you know, get the heat off of himself. But, uh, no, let me tell you what he did next. After getting mad about it and then going live to try and talk shit about me and anyone else, he tried to grift onto the story involving Star Wars The High Republic and the very obviously well-documented case of the black woman being supported by the company and being endorsed by it because anything that's posted by an official account for Disney is an action being taken by Disney. And you'd think that he wouldn't do something stupid, like go on to a live broadcast and try to lie about the very person who's platforming him and the person who wrote the articles documenting these examples. Y y you wouldn't suppose that he'd be so stupid to do something like that, right? Because what kind of dumbass would do that? You know, how stupid would you have to- Things about race. But to extrapolate that out to, well, I guess Star Wars hates white people, buddy. Where your your outlet has such an obvious ideological slant. Every yeah. article Thanks, I read, Vito. thank you. It's biased I in mean, the same exact. Have, I mean, you've 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 made these same arguments on Twitter before. Yeah, there's nothing I've ever heard. Look, I, I, mean, I, I, okay. I don't want to. And just so we're clear, on Twitter, like I th this, I'm not here to like get in a fight with this guy. Yeah, I don't. And, I, and if that's the case, Vito, you've said your point. I'm not, I'm not here to try and like sandbag. Okay, John you have a disingenuous, terrible outlet on here. These guys are liars and crooks. Have fun. But just so we're clear, Vito, he, he Thank did. You. He, he Thank did. You for this guy He's a liar. <laughs> when did Star Wars say all white people are racist? You're but a liar. Like, I'm, Look, I'm trying to show you. They didn't do just though, Vito. Is they lying. never ever stood up for Gina Carano, who has Correct. been. And, and I was he like, just took was... the fuck off. So whatever. But so Vito. Sorry for swearing. But that <laughs> no, was it's bullshit. fine. And I, John, I, I wasn't trying to sandbag you. I, I he had a question. I. I, I... Oh, but what happened? But wait. Yes, After getting embarrassed in front of a live studio audience, it would be at this point that Vito would return to Twitter and attempt to lie more because he didn't have enough yet. It'd be at this point that he'd run to Tommy, another podcaster and another YouTuber, to try and get onto his platform so he could perpetuate the lie that bounding into comics was perpetuating cancel culture. Because you remember, cancel culture is when you lie about things and you present them as true, not when you throw the entire weight of the journalistic class behind the echo chambers of corporate media and use it to de-franchise a person and eject them from polite public society. And surprise, surprise, the same man who sits here and says, nobody cares about you, okay, bro, is found here in the mentions of somebody who made a video on the situation sympathetic to his angle, completely ignoring all the details involved. Because of course they are. <laughs> it's 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 here that we'll end this video, and I'll end the video by saying this: it, it, it's never going to be surprising to me when a bread tuber tries to grift as hard as somebody that Vito does, because the reason he does this, unfortunately, is because Vito needs to get money for his Patreon. So doing dumb shit with antics like this and trying to use the platform of other people to try and echo his message out before blocking the person gives him the opportunity to pretend that he's smart if they are saying stupid shit that nobody would agree with. But if they have any modicum of intelligence behind them, if they have any modicum of an audience, and if they have the ability to spread their message out further than he does, then Vita will just lie disingenuously, constantly, and then will try to run away from what he's done as though there won't be anyone around to tell about the last time he's done something like this, at which point you will then perpetuate the same shit he trod on me. 
he'll say that you actually, you're irrelevant. You're the lol cow, not me. And, you know, I just, I just find it cute. I find it funny most of the time. It, it's mostly sad, but mostly funny. Because if I ever need to really show an example of what a real clout chaser out there for the cash looks like really needs it better than I do, I'm just going to point my finger over at him. Maybe this will be a cautionary tale for people, because I think the lesson to really walk away with here is, is that I can remain petty for longer than you can remain relevant. Just don't lie. J just, just be honest. Just tell the truth. Just tell the fucking truth. Because if all it takes is one person who's willing to sit down and actually document everything, you don't have a leg to stand on. Because the next time you show up, someone's going to quote this video at you, and they're going to laugh at you. Because I don't have to hide anything. I have no reason to lie. You do. If you can be destroyed by the truth, you deserve to be. And maybe this will learn them, but I doubt it. Now, if you excuse me, uh, it's actually been three days straight that I've been editing this, and I'm really sweaty. So I'm going to go take a shower. Shabalom, bitch! I'll see you next same back time, same coral channel. Oh.